When it comes to drug-induced Parkinsonism, what are the clues to a patient who has drug-induced Parkinsonism and how do you treat it? So if a patient was previously admitted in his past medical history, he was admitted into hospital for an acute episode of psychosis and he was prescribed antipsychotics. And now, within a month, the patient returns with tremors. Actually, it might take about one to three months to develop this, by the way. And they were given like haloperidol or something. And now they're returning with tremors, shaking of the hand and muscle stiffness. We know that the antipsychotics were blocking dopamine. And what is normal Parkinson's disease? I mean, the organic Parkinson's disease. The organic Parkinson's disease arises due to a dopamine depletion in the substantia nigra. Now, what we're talking about is someone who's been given haloperidol, which is a dopaminergic antagonist, and someone with a dopamine blockade, reducing the amount of dopamine this patient has available for their brain, leading to these extra pair of, sorry, not even, but the patient is now caught getting tremors, shaking the hand, and muscle stiffness. Drug-induced Parkinsonism can be caused by a dopamine block in the dopamine pathway of the brain. The basal ganglia desperately needs the dopamine to help carry out their voluntary executive muscle functioning. And with a dopamine block, they're not able to function properly. So this patient has been given antipsychotics. Those antipsychotics have triggered a drug-induced Parkinsonism, a, a kind of pseudo depletion of dopamine because we have blocked dopamine completely a kind of pseudo dopamine um, depletion like you know how it occurs in parkinson's dopamine is necessary let me simplify it further dopamine is necessary for your nigrostriatal pathway and the other pathways in the brain those are going to help carry out voluntary muscle control Having dopaminergic depletion means that patients are not able to carry out full voluntary muscle control. They're going to be left with tremors, shaking of the hand, muscle stiffness. They might have bradykinesia, slow muscle movement, bradykinesia. They might have the other symptoms of Parkinson's, you know, tremors, akinesia. Yeah. Now, the way we treat it is with benzotropine. Now, why are we using an anticholinergic? Benzotropine, the mnemonic here is Park My Benz. Park My Benz for Parkinson's is treated with benzotropine. This is an anticholinergic drug which helps block acetylcholine transmission, which helps to reduce the tremors. Essentially, and benzotropine blocks the col- acetylcholine, which is like a nerve signal which goes from one presynapse to another sign postsynapse which um, is causing, you know, the tremors and the muscle um, spas- bra- muscle stiffness, shaking. So you can treat it with an anticholinergic, which blocks that nerve signal, 